All right, guys. Welcome back to Ox Tools. I'm Tom. So uh, another uh, Q and A session here. Um, a viewer, actually a couple viewers, commented on, "Gee, Tom, how come when you're working on small parts, you don't put uh, packing blocks in the opposite side of the vice jaw?" And uh, kind of what they're talking about is when um, when you're when you're you have a small part and you're towards one side of the vise, there's a tendency for for the vise jaw to cock a little bit because you're putting a you know you're putting a block in one side, right? So as you drive the screw, it tightens on that, and this side continues to go here, right? So this is a real and significant uh, phenomenon, okay? Um, it depends on the vise you're using, okay? So sometimes it's, it's really important, and other times it's not nearly as important. Okay, now this is a, this is a Kurt uh, angle lock vise, okay? So when you tighten this vise up, it pushes down, um, and so the jaws don't lift, so they stay nice and parallel. And also, so this is a six inch, 150 millimeter um, width, and it has a keyway, um, it has a keyway that's the same length as the width here, okay? So it's a one-to-one -one kind of ratio there, okay? Um, now, I can, there's a, I can, there's a little bit of wiggle on mine, okay? This one is in pretty good shape, I would say. It's not brand new and, uh, uh, and it's not worn out either, okay? I've seen many, many conditions of these. So um, it's important to understand uh, um, you know what kind of condition your tooling's in too so uh, so what we're gonna do we're, we're gonna do a little demo on a couple of different vices here and talk about packing blocks okay so what I got is I got a, an old beater gauge block here I bought a set off Craigslist uh, to get <laughs> one of the little accessories and uh, so I ended up with a bunch of funky blocks although you know, for this kind of a demo, they're perfect. So this one's uh, three quarters of an inch, 750. And uh, so this is the situation here. Actually, you know what? Let me, uh, let me clean those jaws just for good measure. Yep, there was some crud on there. Okay, so we're gonna put this in one side here. So this is the situation I was, I was working with. You know, as I had a part on one side, and uh, they said, oh, hey, you should put a filler block over here, or a packing block, uh, some guys call it. Um, so I'm gonna tighten this up, and you're just gonna have to trust me that I tightened it up that uh, enough that uh, I would be comfortable doing some milling on that, okay? Um, now, so we, we're pretty confident that's 7500, right? Okay, on that side. So what's going on over here, right? Uh, I'm sure it's closed down a little bit. How much? Let's find out. So I have a, this is an adjustable parallel. And if you don't have any of these, these are super handy. Um, they come in sets with one of each size in it, but what, what you really need is you need two of each size at least, okay? So shop around and uh, these are like super handy and here's a, here's a great use for it is, we're just gonna stuff this little guy in here like this. And then we're going to wedge it in there. Now, we can take a measurement on that now. That's why I'm using it here, okay? Um, now, you could also use this as a packing block, too, to keep the vise from tipping. Uh, you would just set it at the same dimension as your part, okay? So let's, uh, you know what? I'm going to need to move the camera so you can see the micrometer. So I'm going to put a micrometer on here, and we'll measure it, and you guys can see that. And, uh, and then we'll talk about what that angle is. So let's let's measure this thing. Measure this adjustable parallel here. Now hopefully you can see that. So so it's seven four two five. So we'll call that. Let's just call it seven forty two. Okay. So that's uh, that's eight thousandths of an inch different from this end to this end. So that's how much this vice jaw tipped, which. Not very much, actually, honestly. All right, so uh, um, what that means is um, we have an angle here like this. Uh, you know what? You can't see that. Let me, uh, let me, uh, let's do a little math here. <laughs> Clean off my whiteboard. <laughs> All right, so 
We say eight thousandths, right? So what that means is we have that's a lumpy looking triangle. So we get zero zero eight over six. So zero zero eight over six, and that would be a tangent, right? Let's try that. There, six divide. Oops. Zero zero eight. Enter. Six divide. Tangent. All right. So that is. I don't know, eight hundredths of a degree, all right? <laughs> Not much. That's eight hundredths of a degree. Now, remember though, so that's over that full length, okay? Um, so, what's going on over here is that's only an inch there, right? So, that's an inch. So, that's one sixth of that distance, right? Um, which is 1.3 thou all right so it's a little over a thousandth of an inch difference from right there to right there which is not significant okay so you really have to think about what you're doing over here right yeah okay it's a thou 1.3 thou difference from here to here right um, now this part is actually very very parallel right but the part that you're putting in there, if you're within 1.3 thou, that's a pretty nice part actually, okay? Um, if it's rough stock, yeah, you might be lucky that it was that close, okay? Um, and, you know, in parallelism, I should say, all right? So, is it significant over an inch? Eh, not really. Um, is it good enough for milling? In many cases, yes, okay? So, you know, understand your setups, that's important, and, uh, and understand the mechanics of what's going on, okay? So don't just blindly follow folks and say, oh, you gotta have a packing block in there, right? Um, yeah, it's a good idea. If you wanna do it, fine, go for it, all right? But you don't always need to do it, okay? In this situation, I wouldn't even bother, right? And you know what? Guys that analyze this stuff and think about it and consider it in their setups, they make time on jobs, okay? So uh, if I don't have to hunt around or set a parallel or do something like that, I'm, I'm machining while you're farting around with putting a packing block in there. So now let's go over and look at another machine where it would be really important to put a packing block in, and that's the bandsaw. All right, guys. So here, here's the horizontal bandsaw. This is my, uh, my Johnson saw. And... Um, this is an example of uh, where you really want to use a packing block. And the reason here is uh, there's a fundamental difference in the, in the vise, okay? Um, the vise on a, on a bandsaw like this is actually designed to turn so you can cut miters and things like that. So they have pivots. So they really, they want to turn, right? Uh, and of course, they always want to turn when you don't want them to turn, okay? Now, if you're lucky enough to have one of those cool saws that the whole sawing head swivels, right? Like a Marvel or a, uh, uh, there's some Duals that do that and uh, Ellis and things like that. Um, the blade turns and the, the vise stays stationary, so generally the vices are more stable, right? Well, you can see here, can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. Um, it's got a pivot, right? So it, it really wants to turn, and this has got the same setup here, right? So if we wanted to cut something like this, a little stump like this, and slice off a piece of bologna there like that, all right, well, what happens is, is that, you know, you're really preloading this first, this, this, this side of the vise here, and as I tighten the screw up, that vise jaws is going to go, okay? So this is a, this is where you want to use a packing block here. Um, now this is a weird size, it's two and three quarters, so I use these these stare at jacks uh, for this kind of stuff here, and I'll just open, yeah. you know what, I'm just going to go around the other side, I'll do it. So you would just open this up in here, and honestly I would preload that jaw a little bit, right, you know, so it doesn't move at all, you know, something like that, and then, uh, and then crank down on the, uh, the main the main Magoomba there, okay? Oops. Yeah, like that. <laughs> like that, dopey. Alright, like that, alright? And, uh, and now, you know, we could, we could take a little bologna slice off of that and, uh, and be confident that it's not going to uh, squirt out on us or do something uh, obnoxious. 
Now, the other thing you can do in this situation, too, is if you're getting, you know, if you're down to your last bit of material and you really got to slice three more pieces off, you can weld a, you can weld something on the other side um, that you can hold on to. And, um, and then you can actually cut all the way right up to the end and, uh, and get the maximum use out of the material. So that's a handy trick. Um, anyway, that's packing blocks, guys. Uh, make sure you pack your parachute properly and pack your saw well and understand uh, um, when and how to use packing blocks, okay? Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.